guys i'm sure you would have seen that video of the 44 year old house of rep member in nigeria alexander ikweche assaulting a bolt driver you know where you are do you know who i am so you think i'll give you my money with the way you have spoken to me i did a job for you and you have to pay it sir. you will not see any you will not see penny from me with this level of disrespect with this level of disrespect, you're very stupid. Very, very stupid. Madam, did you, did, who is this stupid boy that you sent to this my house? Who is this foolish boy that you sent to my house? How can this stupid idiot come to my house and tell me that I'm supposed to come and meet him in, in his car and pick up and pick up snail that, that I'm buying from you? Can you imagine this rat? I can make this man to disappear in the, in the whole Nigeria and nothing will happen. Can you imagine this rat? I'm not going to give this I'm not going to give this boy one night of my money. No 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 no. I'm not going to give this silly boy one night of my money. You've been insulting me and I'm being quiet. I pray that you do. I pray that you insult me. Can you please insult me? I want I'm not going to call my policeman to beat you up. I will beat you up. I will show you that I'm a big brother to you. I will slap the hell out of you and I will lie you down lock it in my in, in, in my generator house. How dare you? Why should you do that? Who the hell do you do you know who you're talking to? Do you know where you are? Because you saw me sitting outside here. It doesn't matter, sir. Pay me, let me go. I Look at this monkey. I don't care what I am. Are you wait, are you even looking at me that you can you can beat me? Or are you looking at me? What who the hell do you think you're talking to? Do you know who I am? I'm a senator of this republic. Do you know who the fuck do you know who the fuck I am? How dare you? Are you slapping me, sir? You see this place? You suffer. I'll deal with you. Are you slapping me, sir? I just did. Slap me back. Okay. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? That's fine. How dare Do you know who I am? That's fine. How dare you? Did you, did you just slap me three times, sir? Twice. The third one, you'll still, you'll still receive it. That's How nice. dare you? Come on, get out of this place. I need my payment, sir. Come on, please. All right, so this is where I am. I just got a, I just got three slaps from this man. Here. Just because I told him to come and get his stuff and pay me my money. So he's claiming that Tell he's... Them, my name is Honorable Alex Ikweche. I'm a member of the House of Reps. Tell them I slapped you. Okay. Call the Inspector General of Police. Call, call him. Let him come. Okay, sir. Record me very well. Record me very well. All right. That's nice. You came to my house to disrespect me. I, huh? I didn't disrespect you. I said, pay me my money and let me leave. Come on, give me that phone. Now, to give you more details, this Bolt driver's name is Steven Abuatseya. He's not a delivery guy. He drives Bolt and he got a request for a ride. But then they told him, actually, it's not a ride. We want you to deliver food to someone and they gave him the food. Now, getting to the location, he called the phone number that they gave him. Hello, I'm at your gate. I'm dropping your package to your gate, man. The person said no. You should drive inside the gate, bring the package inside the gate. So then he did. He drove inside the gate. But then he said that when he parked his car, he saw a man sitting right there and he greeted this man twice and that the man did not respond. So he called the phone number that they gave him and when he rang, it was the same man that was sitting right there. And then he said to him, sir, I have a delivery for you. And that the man got upset that he expected him to come to his car instead of him coming down to hand the delivery. 
delivery to him. He also said that this lawmaker had actually hit him in the chest a number of times, saying that he could pay people 50 million naira to make him disappear before he started recording him. He then said that the lawmaker called the police on him and that they took him to the police station. They kept him there for hours. They didn't ask him what happened. They told him that he needed to do investigation by going to speak with the lawmaker to ask him what happened. And that after speaking with the lawmaker, they came back to the station upset asking him why did you record the lawmaker and then the same lawmaker went to the police station to verbally assault him even more and when they released him in the morning they detained his vehicle wow where do we start do we focus on the the lawmaker who is only 44 years old by the way and we're always advocating shouting that young people should be allowed in governance same young lawmaker now saying do you know who i am do, who are you who are you do you not know that you're an employee of the people he called him monkey he slapped him he said that he could make him disappear said that he could make him disappear what 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 exactly does he mean by making somebody disappear? Was he going to kill him? And he boasted that even the Inspector General of Police cannot do anything to him. Wow. Or should we focus on the police that he called to come and arrest this guy? Steven said that they didn't even allow him to drive his car, that they bundled him between two policemen when they drove him to their station and they rough handled him, all because it was a lawmaker that ordered for his arrest. Do you know that the only reason that we are knowing that this happened is because Steven did to record what was happening. Otherwise, they would just put him behind bars. Nobody would even know where he is. They could literally make him disappear and so many influential people in nigeria have made people disappear now first of all guys before i even say anything it pains me that as a society we attach so much significance to what we call status i'm sorry to say actually i'm not sorry but many people condemning this man many people in nigeria they do the same thing to anybody that they believe is quote and unquote beneath them i mean we'll talk about him but maybe you also need to start thinking about how you treat people would you actually be proud if somebody should film how you scream at your workers how you treat your workers would you be proud if we watch a tape of how you treat your students your house help your driver your gate man your secretary some of you are just supervisors at work but you act like you are god some of you are pastors but you cannot carry your own bible elderly people are calling you that Elderly people are kneeling down for you and you are not afraid. Because the basis of all this is knowing how to treat people, how to talk to people. And God forbid that some of you get into politics. We will not even know that it's the same you. Some of you that have been praying for a breakthrough, the moment you have some money, you change. Some of you have followers. And now we don't know you anymore. Anyways, I digress. Now, Steven is not a delivery guy. He drives bold. He carries passengers who would come to his car. But even if he's a delivery guy and he did not come down to drop your food at your entrance, how dare you say that you will make him disappear? A fellow human being like you, you are not God. I am so happy that Nigerians have bombarded all his social media pages. Yes, Alexander, giving him a piece of their mind. Something like this happens all the time by the way in Nigeria. It's only because of smartphones and social media that these things are now coming to the limelight. All you needed to do was collect your snail and go and eat. But no, 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 you needed to prove that you're somebody. Guys, the moment that you ever feel the urge to ask, do you know who I am? Ha, forget. At that particular point in time, you are trying to assert some importance to yourself. And it is a sign of insecurity, of immature desire for attention because real recognition shouldn't require you asking for it. You know, I watched that video, so te, I kept saying, hey, Lori Kinigona, as in on top of what? These are the people making the loss of our land. You know, the funny thing is, the police now said that they invited him, they interrogated him. Shoo. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You shaking, you interrogate. Ah, clap for yourself now. <laughs> My people, is it the same police that he called that came to pick up Steven? Is it the same police that allowed him, this lawmaker Alex, to come and verbally assault Steven at their stage? Is it that same police that will not arrest 
our honorary lawmaker. <laughs> And even if they do, because eventually they will, they will arrest him. Just to show us that they are working, they are for the people. Why don't you the Nigerian police? It's okay, we know you will play the part. They will arrest him eventually. But even if they do, do you think he will suffer the consequences of assaulting this man? I don't know if you guys have seen his apology because he wrote a formal apology uh, statement. Very well written. The moment I saw it, I knew someone had written it for him. Someone that is really good because it was very well written. You would think that he was actually truly sorry but then when he got to the floor of the house of representatives he read the same apology and then when he was done reading it he decided to speak normal as himself and that's when you know he's not actually sorry honorable colleagues i just want to state once again that i am human even though there was things were said and those things I regret. I apologize to all Nigerians, regardless of the provocation. There should be no reason why I should react in that form. So I want to use this opportunity to appeal to all Nigerians. Let us let what has happened remain in, remain in the past and let us forge forward. Thank you once again for giving me the opportunity to um, tender this apology, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. The apology is that. What do you mean by you are human? You are not human if you don't know how to treat other human beings. And what do you mean by provocation? Nobody provoked you. You were not provoked. So I don't see this as apology. It's either he's not happy that he was caught, you know, that the video is out there, or he doesn't want to be disciplined by the house because right now they're saying that they would forward his case to the committee of ethics. So maybe he doesn't want to be disciplined or, or he's apologizing because he was caught. And then he said in his apology that him and Steven have reached some kind of agreement uh, and settlement. And the first thing that came to my mind is, okay, he thinks that he can just buy his way out of this or he's trying to give him him some money and he thinks that's the end of it. Since the incident, citizen Abutseya and I have engaged in alternative dispute resolution methods. And I am pleased to inform this honorable house that we have reached a respectful and constructive resolution. And now he's telling us we should move on. So I want to use this opportunity to appeal to all Nigerians let us let what has happened remain in, remain in the past and let us forge forward. Now, imagine if someone had treated him the way he treated that guy. Would he really be saying that we should move on and let the past be the past? His appeal was very emotional, very touching, shows remorse. You know, I was touched. I know you were touched as well. I know Nigerians watching him have seen a man that is remorseful. For real? <laughs> okay, those of you that were touched, let us know in the comment section. You know, I'm really hoping for justice for Steven because he was assaulted. He did not pay him. He tore his... I mean, he really assaulted him. And then he had the police arrest him, wasted his time. He slept at the police station. So I'm really hoping for justice for Steven. But beyond that... I'm hoping that Alexander will actually change as a person. It's not too late for you to humble yourself and stop seeing yourself as better than any other human being because you are not. By the way, guys, please know that what our lawmakers do in Nigeria is not normal. Lawmakers in countries that are serious, developing countries, they don't do that. You know, last weekend we were visiting a Nigerian family friend in North Carolina and as we were leaving, one woman was walking by with her two dogs dressed casually and she greeted this Nigerian family, they greeted her, but she stopped to ask after their children and all of that. And then the Nigerian family said to me, Adela, that's a House of Rep member. I was like, wait, what? And that uh, she used to be a senator as well. A state senator. I was like, so I ran after her, of course. <laughs> I said, I was like, I want to interview you. And she answered all my questions. 
but she said that she didn't want me to show her face because she wasn't using makeup and she was dressed casually and so she was like no 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 don't show my face so she's okay with me using a picture of her dressed formally even though i thought that she looked stunning and in case anybody is doubting that the person in my video is a real lawmaker because they couldn't see her face this is the detail of her office you can call you can email to confirm whether or not she's the one she's a state house of rep member representing district 66 in north carolina but i got to ask her how many bodyguards do you have in this video we are showing you people's reaction to the lawmaker's apology there's a video that's been trending everywhere on the internet it's a, it's, it started like sunday evening has been trending even the whole of yesterday the whole internet is on fire guys see hmm. you see those that invented social media those that created video and camera phones god will bless them because imagine if this guy this cab driver didn't capture everything that was happening between him and that alex Ikechi, the lawmaker that is parading himself as one royal majesty parading himself as a god what did that cab driver do to you all he did was to deliver what they asked him to deliver to your house to you you want him to carry the things that they were that they asked him to deliver inside your house because you are a lawmaker you said you were even branching do you know who i am can you imagine see it's god that saved that guy had it been he did not video this thing eh only god would have known how this story would have ended but thank god thank god that he videoed everything now because of you happen to have one small position because to me it's, it's a small position you are not the number one citizen of this country you're not even the number two you're not even you're not even among the first ten doesn't mean that you treat people less or you treat people anyhow believing that even if you treat them anyhow nothing will happen to you huh. but nigeria has changed though hmm. we have those that are ready to take this to the extreme lengths the likes of vdm hmm. so had it been this guy did not do this video do you know anything is even telling anybody nobody will believe him even the lawmaker himself will even deny everything and say he's not saying anything like that and this same thing this guy is not the only person that used to do this way. there are many of them even ordinary local government chairman the way they will even be behaving do you know who i am all those ones that have small small position those are the ones that used to the one to come and ride you climb on top of your head i'm happy with the actions that they are taking against him i'm happy with the way they are treating this matter i'm happy they did not put it under the carpet if not ha justice will not prevail but i'm happy with the way things are going because enough is enough this guy is not the only person that is they're all of, they they all of them they do them. all of them if they can put a hidden camera eh you know their office or their home or where they go to you'll be shocked on what you are going to see you'll be shocked about the things you are going to recover so <laughs> i'm really glad and god will continue to expose each and every one of them treating us like we don't matter treating us like it's not the same god that created us just because you have one small power then your, your head want to blow i'm very happy you so if you would like all those people that have some more, some more small power go and exercise your power any elsewhere they will, they will still catch you when they catch you then they'll use you as a scapegoat at least they've alex now is not a scapegoat he cannot say look this one is not a matter of uh, maybe he say somebody it's not true the video showed the guy the video capture everything so you can't even come out and boldly to say uh, maybe it was made up or you, or you say and you know had it been this guy did only audio they would have said that it was made up thank god it was video and we all everybody whole world saw the guy so i'm i'm happy nigeria is going to change it might take time but nigeria will definitely change thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more interesting Twitter content bye guys all right i want to quickly talk about what happened between the house of reps member alex equity huh, and the boat driver 
I thank Mr. Very Dark Man so much for how far he has gone with the case. So, anything that is happening in Nigeria is because the country has gone so lawless. I really don't want to dive into this case very much. The only thing I want to say is, if you have been in this country, you should know that your life is more important than anything. So what am I trying to say? Just imagine that that boat driver did not come out from that house alive. Just imagine it. He was busy making video. Imagine, say, that man gets, he would have just by the man just like that. By the dry boat driver just like that. But because he does not have him, that is one reason why that man came out alive to tell his story. So what I will advise you is, if you are in this country and you want to live long, when you are in situations like this, <laughs> you are one and one with life and death. The best thing you have to do for yourself is to do what? Secure your life first. Stay alive to tell the story. This boat driver was so opportune to stay alive. What if he was... Are you following? Just imagine, say, he was... Would he be here telling the story? Will this video get to VDM? It won't get to him. We won't even know what happened to him. Because if you look at the statement of Mr. Alex, he said he can as in make him disappear from this Nigeria and nobody will talk about it. Nobody will say anything about it. Can you imagine this rat? I can make this man to disappear in the whole Nigeria and nothing will happen. What is he insinuating? He is vividly saying that he can him make him disappear means he can kill him, he can buy him. He can buy him and nobody will talk about it. So please, it's better we we'll stay alive for our families, for our children, for our brothers and sisters. That is all I have to say about this case. Okay? It is better you stay alive and tell the story tomorrow. If the boat driver is late today, nobody will be talking about this. So think twice. I will see you. Better that man told you that you will learn and you will learn in a hard way. Hello guys. Let us quickly analyze this video. How many of you remember the video I posted yesterday about the a member of House of Red that assaulted a boat driver that delivered goods to him? You have watched the video, you all knew exactly what happened. That driver was called to deliver a goods for him. Get it there, he met that man in front of his house. He was asking the man, and he greeted him according to him. He said he greeted him like two or three times. The man didn't respond. Then maybe he thought that maybe that is not the person that owed the goods. He had to pick his phone to call. When he was calling the number man, that same number that was calling before, that called him before, he was ringing in front of that man with the man. Okay, this is your goods, come and carry. That was only the word that guy said. That man started beating him. He turned on his clothes. Now listen, you know, very that man saw it. Very dark man now decided to say, no, this is uncomfortable. This guy has not even disrespect you, then you are telling him that what kind of disrespected attitude is this? Where has he disrespect, disrespect you here? Nothing. Okay, now watch. He said, go and call the agio police. Go and do this, go and do that. Now they don't call agio police, come now. The man they beg. Very dark man told you that. You will learn, and you will learn in the hard way. How many house of red, or all this or guy on the top, you will see they molest people, eh? They will ask them to, they will call them out for good 24 hours that will come out and apologize. It's only very dark man that have started the, with nobody. Very dark man you call nobody. It's not a police, it's nobody. But all of them on the top, they are learning the hard way. Let's read the letter, we will analyze everything to you. He regretted. 
Okay, look at what he said here. A member of House of Representatives, Alex Ikoeche, who assaulted a Haley boat driver who went to deliver a package to him, has tendered a public apology. Okay, listen. Ikoeche admitted that his behavior did not meet the standard expected of a public official. Alex Ikoeche National Assembly take action on lawmaker who assaulted boat driver. Let's go. No, when I tell you that, if you want to attack very dark man, know that you are very clean. If there is sin in your hand, go and wash it. Go and confess to the public before otherwise you will learn and you will learn in the hard way as a public servant it <laughs> is the one that did this letter of apology this is the man that was bragging anyhow yesterday look at what he said he said as a public servant i recognized the trust placed in me by my constituents and the nigerian people my behavior first shot of the standard expected of me and for that i am truly sorry <laughs> who is not learning in the hard way look at mother was calling at the police yesterday go and call anybody you are tendering apology now to a boat driver this is what they told you respect is reciprocal if you have respected that young man yesterday, eh, this disgrace you are receiving from everybody in Nigeria now, you won't receive it. This is the reason why, even while you are in office, use that office to bless people. Use that office to claim good name. Don't use it to intimidate the fellow Nigerian citizens. It is not good. Now let's go further. The Abuja-based lawmaker from Abuja State also confirmed his cooperation with the police, pledging to support their investigation and uphold accountability. Oh, if not be this one now, nobody. If I not come back to now, you can't pledge now. You will support the police, eh, to be investigating on people that are doing these kind of things. Listen, I want to assure that public. I want to assure the public that I am fully cooperating with the Nigerian police investigation into this matter. I support their effort to ensure that justice is served and that those responsible are held accountable. The statement reads. <laughs> and for this video, you will see that all these people, this is not what they are called to do. You are called to protect your citizen. Let further read the statement to see how this man is regretting his life. He has led in a hard way. If not for very dark man, do you think this Abino will have come here to apologize to the public? He would. He would. Because he felt too big. He's a proud man. You understand? Because you are receiving money these people are paying to you. They are, you are using this money, the money that these people are paying to you. Then you don't want to respect the citizen. Let's further read this statement. You go learn the highway. He said, okay. Physically confronting a threatening Stevie Abu Watsaya, speaking widespread outrage. In response, the House of Representatives issued a statement expressing serious concern over the incident. It is spokesman Percy Akin Rotimi Jr. said the house take allegation of misconduct serious and hold it member to high standard of ethical conduct and accountability. Yes. In a very dark manner, I made that they say all this one. Now, because of say this one, don't command. I'm better than this one. You can imagine how many people this man have locked up in that generator room. You can imagine how many people this uh, uh, white monkey have 
disappeared in Nigeria. You say you will pay 50 million to disappear somebody. That is, thorough investigation has to take place for this matter. He has been doing before. He never knew that this one will come up like this. This is the reason why. Otherwise, if not that that guy was even recording the video, who would have known? They will beat him off. Nobody will know what exactly happened here. You understand? So thank you. And uh, I want to recommend very dark man once again, the Rata family and the police of Nigeria who actually take a proper investigation to make sure or ensure that this man render a proper apology to the victim. God bless you for doing this for all. I told you guys, you guys will learn, you will learn happy. Nigeria is not like you the Nigeria is not the way you thought it was before. Nigeria has changed. Nigeria has changed. All these rich men who thought that they can molest you, they can beat you, nothing will happen. God, gone are those days. Get your handset ready. Anytime the thing they happen, record it and post it on the wall. Everybody will use you. Everybody will help you. You understand? This is how it works right now. But thank God for very dark man. I told you, you got, you all will learn and you will learn the hard way. They have started learning now. All of them they fear because the world is not as it was before. Later gist of today. Ciao. Thank you for watching our videos at G Dynamic Tube TV.